Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install WD's new Black Squared dual drive, which is right here. It includes both a mechanical hard drive and an SSD in the same units. Uh, and today I'm going to be installing it in this MSI laptop. Now, what I'm doing today is kind of a, an ideal situation for the use case of this drive. In particular, we need a laptop that first off needs an upgrade. So a laptop that is currently relying on a mechanical drive is going to be the best situation for this drive. Uh, also, we need to make sure that it accepts a 2.5 inch drive with a 9.5 millimeter Z height, or basically height from top to bottom of the drive. Assuming that you have all that, we're going to go ahead and do a clone installation. So I'm going to take the current operating system that's on this laptop, which is Windows 8.1. I've just recently updated it. Uh, and then we're going to clone that over to the dual drive. And then I'm going to show you guys how to set up the uh, SSD and the mechanical drive partition so that you can access both as independent drives. So first off, uh, I'm going to be using everything that is included with the WD Black Square dual drive. A couple other items that I'm going to be using. One is going to be basically a screwdriver. I have a full kit of them right here, but this is going to vary, of course, depending on your laptop. So just make sure you have a screwdriver that fits the sizes of screws that are in there, particularly if you have anything besides Phillips head, if you need T5 or something like that. Also, I have just a simple little four gigabyte flash drive. I'm just using that to load a Cronus True Image on, which is available as a free download as long as you have a uh, Western Digital Drive attached to the system. So step one in this process, of course, is going to be to prepare your existing laptop. I already mentioned a little bit about the uh, hardware requirements. Uh, we're currently running Windows 8.1. I've updated this laptop. It shipped with Windows 8. But that's a good thing to do. Do your updates beforehand and definitely, definitely make sure that all of your data is backed up. Um, get an external drive, uh, a, a Western Digital one is a great option, and uh, back up all of your datas. Um, make sure you have programs set aside so you can reinstall them if necessary. Again, we are doing a clone of this operating system, so everything should appear just as is, but you, it, always, uh, it always pays to have a fail-safe in place just in case. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and download the software that we need. Now, uh, this is uh, the WD support site, which is support.wd.com. When you go over here, you can uh, access where we need to go in a few different ways, but I found I'm just going to click the downloads over here. Uh, you can search by product. So we're going to go to dual drives. There's only one of these currently available, so I'm going to click on that. You can see available downloads. Uh, Cronus True Image WD Edition software download is what we are going to be downloading right now. I've actually already gone ahead and downloaded it. But while we're here, you might also notice the WD Black Squared installer. Uh, this little key, it's a little USB key which ships with the drive, and if you plug this in once the clone is complete, it will run a script that will take you to this download page. But bear in mind, it's right there as well, just in case the key doesn't work or you need to be able to get over to it. Finally, got Data Lifeguard, which is WD's uh, diagnostic tools, which are fantastic, but uh, we're not going to be really discussing those in this video. All right, so Acronis, click on that, download it, and install it, which I have already done. And then uh, once you've installed it, of course, go ahead and run it. So you'll notice that uh, this version of Acronis True Image will not start unless you actually have a Western Digital Drive connected. So uh, I haven't plugged in the Black Squared yet. USB works just fine as far as driver recognition goes. So I'm just going to plug that in, give it just a moment to be uh, recognized by the laptop, and then we should be able to continue on our merry way. There we go and the software will pop up. Now there's a couple different things that I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip updating to the full version of the software first of all. Um, one thing you can do is backup. The other thing you can do is browse for old backups. Uh, but I'm also going to create a bootable Acronis True Image uh, drive off of this. So you can actually do that by using the Create Bootable Media tool right here. That will pop up to the Acronis Media Builder. Just go ahead and click Next, thr next through those prompts. Uh, plug in a USB drive. This is I guess, this is actually a 2 gig one, not a 4 gig, but it doesn't need very much space. Um, bear in mind that it will format this drive, so don't use one that you have data uh, already installed on. Run through the prompts, create the drive, and leave it plugged in. I and mean, there's actually quite a few things you can do with this software. For instance, you can do backup and recovery. You can use this to, say, back up your entire partition. Uh, if you haven't backed up uh, even though I told you guys to at the beginning of this tutorial, you can actually use this to create a clone of that if you have another external hard drive somewhere that you want to copy that over to. But uh, since we're just doing a straight clone of the existing drive on there, I'm going to use the clone disk feature. Just go ahead and click on that right here under Tools and Utilities. This is going to automatically go uh, read the drives that are currently attached. And this might vary depending on the laptop that you're upgrading because some laptops have a single drive, some laptops have multiple drives. So do bear that in mind uh, when it comes to the specs of your laptop that you might be upgrading from. 
Also, for clone mode here, we have automatic. Um, I am fairly confident I can use that with this drive, but if you are a little bit more curious about the details, you can click over to manual. That will allow you, to, for instance, to actually see the source disk that you're choosing. And uh, this one happens to be a Hitachi, so we're going to select that one. Um, destination disk, of course, is going to be our WD Black Square drive. And um, bear in mind that at this point, we're not actually going to be able to see the one terabyte mechanical drive in here. We're only going to be able to see the 120 gigabytes uh, SSD. So we'll select that. Uh, we can go on from there to move method. Uh, these dynamic volumes contain useful data. data can click OK to confirm deletion. This is just because this drive has been set up before. Bear in mind, you are going to be formatting that, uh, that uh, SSD portion of the black squared drive. This will move on to the next. Uh, part. Uh, this is, will give you different options for moving the data. Now bear in mind here we have a 120 gig drive SSD that we're um, on the black squared. We have a 750 gigabyte drive that's currently installed in here. Um, what it's going to do is actually resize all those partitions to fit down in here. Uh, if I were to use as is it would try to do partitions that are the same size and since even the base partition uh, on the existing hard drive is already too big. I'm going to go ahead and use proportional. That will sort of shrink down the partitions to fit on the new SSD. I'm going to click next and uh, here you'll see the before and after. Uh, so for instance the 240 gigabyte or so uh, uh, storage partition will now be 31 gigs uh, relative size and uh, our, our OS partition from our existing drive will be shrunk down to 64 gigs. Of course you can go back in and resize these once everything is finished. Uh, but from here, I'm going to go ahead and click Proceed, and then it will pop up the cloning disk uh, UI. Now, here it's going to calculate time remaining. You'll have a, a progress bar that will move along. We're going to go ahead and jump to the end of that process, and uh, we'll move on with the installation of the black squared. So from here, you'll get a message starting a Cronus UEFI loader. It's going to boot up off of that USB drive. And uh, also, please bear in mind, I do have the uh, dual drive plugged in right now. You'll want the, the dual drive plugged in so that it can be recognized as this program starts up. That will give you access to the internal drive as well as the dual drive, and then you can go ahead and do the cloning process. And now that it's booted up, we can see uh, operation progress and status will st pop up automatically. It's going to give you uh, an estimated time remaining, and it will sort of guide you along and tell you what it is doing. So I can also see the light blinking on the WD Black Square drive over there, so we know that it is doing the copying. So it gives us a few minutes to go ahead and proceed with the cloning process, and then we'll continue on to our next step. All right, guys, once the copy finished, the system automatically shut down. So I've unplugged our dual drive as well as the uh, bootable uh, Cronus drive. I've unplugged the power. I'm going to flip the laptop over, and here is where you're probably going to encounter some variants because chances are you're not using this exact model of laptop. But uh, first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery. That's always important. And then fortunately, this particular laptop has a removable panel here that's user accessible uh, that we can use to get at the uh, hard drive, which I believe is right under this area right here. Bear in mind, I did need to break the warranty on this laptop, so that's going to vary. Some laptops will give you easier access to the hard drive, other laptops will not. Again, just depends on the manufacturer. So if you're really concerned about your warranty, then um, I guess maybe double check with your hard drive or with your laptop manu manufacturer first, and that might help you avoid that possibility. All right, I think I've gotten all of the uh, screws out of here that are necessary. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this panel off making sure to set the screws aside in a safe location. Actually, that one's just kind of stuck in there, so I'll leave it uh, because we don't want to lose those. From here, we can see the internals of the drive, or of the laptop, I should say. The mechanical hard drive 2.5 inch one is right over here on this side. Again, this is going to vary depending on the model of laptop that you have. This particular one just has a couple more screws here that I need to remove. And it does have a little metal bracket, uh, which is necessary to uh, basically keep the drive secured. I'm pulling out this way to disengage the uh, serial ATA power and data connectors and then I can pull that drive out just like that. Now again this uh, metal bracket will be required for me to install the black squared dual drive so I'm going to pop that off as well. And I have reattached that metal bracket to the black squared dual drive. Now again uh, serial ATA power and data connectors should be aligned just as they were with the drive that was just removed and I'm going to insert it like so. Give it a little push to the side. Bear in mind those plugs can be a little delicate so don't give it too much force here. It should just slide right in. 
I'm gonna go ahead and keep my little accessibility tab available to me. And then I'm just gonna replace the screws that I removed. And I will also replace the black cover. And then we can go ahead and boot off of this drive. And since I cloned directly over to it, it should boot and everything should appear just like the mechanical hard drive that we just removed, except since it's on an SSD now, it should be much faster. So we have uh, replaced everything here hardware-wise and reconnected the back, so I'm just going to go ahead and start back up. You will bear in mind that the mechanical drive that we just removed is removed, not connected at all anymore, but everything from this drive has been cloned onto the SSD part of our WD Black Squared dual drive. Uh, you will probably notice, well, you might notice, this is booting up much faster than it had before when it was a mechanical drive. SSDs are faster. That's part of the beauty of this uh, little drive configuration system. There's still a couple more things that we might want to do before we go ahead and complete or say that our job is finished. Uh, first off, you might notice if you open up your computer, uh, once the Sound Blaster Cinema finishes loading, there we go, uh, we have our OS installation, which is on our 64 gig partition of the SSD. We also have a data partition on a 31.5 gig part, uh, part of the SSD. Um, that's because when this drive, original drive, was formatted, it was split into those two sections. It shrank it down in order to fit it uh, on the SSD that's part of the Black Square dual drive. Uh, the other thing that we're missing here is our one terabyte uh, extra storage drive. So let's go ahead and get that set up first. You may have gotten this key, or you should have gotten this key, along with your dual drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in, like so. And basically this is going to run a script. Um, it is not actually storage on this USB key, um, but it should basically take you immediately to the store. And that is, of course, if you plug it in right side up. That's better. Okay. So this is going to run the script really quick. This should uh, just immediately take me to the download. Uh, oh, wow. Types in a run command for you. There we go. And this will take you to download the software, which will set up that extra one terabyte drive that's the second drive in the black squared. So uh, here's the black squared uh, page, data transfer software, and the partition software. So we want the partition software. And uh, oh, look, a tutorial. I know you're you don't need to watch that, though, because you're watching this video, right? OK. Click here to download the partition software. And black installer, there we go. Download, hit download, and we'll go ahead and download that. It's going to save it to the desktop. We'll go ahead and save as desktop. There we go. And in just a moment that will be finished and then we can run it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my PC folder open. So hopefully in just a moment here we'll, we will have another drive that will appear and that will give us access to our one terabytes of storage. And we'll go ahead and click install. I will accept the agreement after reading it thoroughly and click next and proceed. So this is going to run through a simple installation thing. Basically, it's activating that extra one terabyte of storage uh, that's the second half of your Black Square dual drive. It will prompt you for a restart. And when we come back, we should have access to that one terabyte drive. After the restart, uh, it immediately pops up an installation complete notification. Go ahead and click Finish. It will finish booting into the operating system. And then from here, just jump back into my computer. And as you can see, We've got the two partitions right here that are the uh, SSD. And then we also have this partition, 931 gigabytes usable. That's after Sound Blaster loads one more time. 931 gig, uh, gigabytes usable, that's of, uh, for our one terabyte drive. And of course, it is nice and empty. And now we can simply use that as an additional drive for storage. Or, uh, well, well, I guess that's what all drives are used for, storage. But storing different types of things like media or pictures or, or what have you. And that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial, guys. Once again, we've been taking a look at installing the WD Black Square dual drive, which includes both an SSD and a mechanical hard drive in one unit. Hopefully, you've learned a little bit more about installing this drive. And if you need some more information, you can head over to the WD website, where they have additional tutorials on doing, for example, a clean installation, which is another recommended use case for this particular drive. Thank Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.